Hello everybody, this is Namtox, and I'm here with some early look footage of Rage 2. This is going to be on the Xbox One X. Uh, I am streaming this live on Mixer, but this video will be going up for you guys to watch in a higher fidelity. So let me know what you guys think, what you're interested in, and what you want to know about it. And hopefully it can look great. And I am excited, you know, Doom was such a huge game that... I'm not saying I want Rage 2 to be that, but I have high hopes. So let's go in and uh, let's see how it is live and direct. We had such plans for this world. Our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. <laughs> we let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! going on out there nothing good better gear up and move out oh you could be a guy or a girl huh that's really cool it's go time right yeah grab your gear I'll secure the door Oh, well. Oh, come on, Lily. That was my kill. <laughs> you gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. Let's go fucking get some. Oh, wow. Come on. Let's... All right, so a quick start. Better you than me. Frame rate looking nice. Sorry, guys, I gotta. Never much. 
You guys stop talking. We're trying try not to die here. Longer, we need you in the courtyard now. We're on our way. Got Lily too. Jersey's been deployed to warn the other settlements. They gotta know. I guess this is big then. Just snapped it on the combo. This is the biggest attack I've ever seen. I'm serious. Then let's go. We're gonna go earn us a glory ribbon. Ranger Jersey. It's not gonna defib out of that. It's up to me now. Well, that's one way to lose your armor. Pass it on to the new generation. Shit, mom's gonna skin you alive messing with Ranger gear. <laughs> uh, but it's still got a lot of Jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh, yeah. This is even better than I thought. Ooh, I like. Lily, I need you in the garage. Water, kick your ass through the courtyard. Guess I go alone. On my way. Of stuff going on here. Very quick, quick start to the action. Jealous, Lily? Damn right I am. I would have been the youngest ranger to ever get sworn in if not for this bullshit nano trike crap. Oh, duh, crouch. Fine, I'll use the explosive barrels. to use.
the shooting feels really satisfying. God damn. That hit tech. Prowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's arm. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor, and you're brave enough to do his job. What the fuck is that? Holy right. So big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross? Take my That's fatality. I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley has lost it or if it's really true. You know this, though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son stand of a... Stand down. That's a direct order! <laughs> Watch out! Oh, no. ah! Gotta go. Look at that. I got myself a real full blown villain here to kill. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait, wait the fuck? Fuck's sake. Oh, I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So this is it then? This is all that's left? Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. It was General Cross. He... He killed her. Kill my mother. I don't know how, but we gotta stop him. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories that the authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do, the Rangers knew. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm 
the only ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. Ooh. Well then. It's a... Uh, I love a way to start the game. Can't really talk to her apparently. No, it says hold X. Kind of, you know, doesn't even dawn on me until right now that this is an open world game. This is not used to open world games being a in first person really, and then having such great feeling shooting. I hope you got something for me in here, Prowley. I'm kind of interested to see how that works out. Unknown intruder. This is Presidio Security Protocol. Unit, Corporal Walker. I'm here to find information about, uh, about my, uh, about Ranger Unit Sergeant Rowena Prowley. Processing. Security protocol override. Walker, if you're seeing this message, it means we've been hit harder than ever before. I'm likely dead, and Vineland is laid to ruin. It also means you're the only living ranger, and that the authority is back, and they must be stopped. All these years, I kept you away from the ranks of the rangers, as I hoped you would be spared in an attack like this. Likely targeting rangers and elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Vineland's primary arc, and the technology inside. The old icebox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents. All the originals froze up like popsicles. And from here we emerged and kicked the authorities' ass. Inside the Ark is an ID accession distributor, which is my greatest gift to you. A device which augments the nanotracks in your blood and gives you, well, superhuman powers. There's no other way to put it. Enter the Ark and activate it. Now, let's see what kind of surprise you got for me here, Ghost Brawley. You know, I gotta say, although stylistically, they presented it as a much different thing than Rage the original, so far the overall tone, despite how audacious it is, actually does feel like Rage. Alright, let's see how this works. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 401A. So I just stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Huh. There goes nothing. What a what a tutorial prom. Welcome to the simulation chamber. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your ARC weapons and any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession, DASH. With the DASH accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. Again, please. And again. Good work. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. Please repeat. 
Oh, well, we're really gonna do this, huh? We're gonna do it three times. Once more. I'm pretty sure I. Uh, King. It's uh good so far. It feels really solid. Um, you have successfully it's running great. Dash on the X. Just still in the very beginning tutorial type things. I'm curious to see how the open world part of it functions. I really have to eat my arm? Come back to the main hall. I have more information for you. It feels weird taking instructions from my dead aunt. You've got your first ID accession. For you, there's more. There are many arcs still out there. Find them. Each arc contains valuable resources that will help your fight against the authority. But you can't fight them alone. You'll need help. If Lily is still alive, she will be invaluable to you. But there are other allies. People you may have only heard about. Around the end of the authority wars, a few of us in the inner circle of the Resistance initiated what came to be known as Project Dagger. It was designed to put an end to the authority. Permanently. We knew it wasn't likely that they'd just disappear despite their losses. And furthermore, we knew that General Cross was in possession of technology that allowed him something akin to eternal life. Project Dagger was scrubbed when Vineland closed its gates to outsiders. But a pact of sorts remained between me and the other three original Daggers. First, John Marshall of Gun Barrel. A tough, no-nonsense old war horse who led the first fight against the Authority. He understands the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skills will help keep you off the Authority's radar. Second, Luce of Hagar of Wellspring. Daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military-grade vehicles will be indispensable. And then, there's Dr. Anton Kvasir. Ex-authority scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotrite technology and mutations. His skills are a cornerstone of the Dagger Project. You will want to know more down the road. Your range of armor CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there. Ranger Walker. Okay, we got our story set up. It's uh, pretty concise. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. Yeah, any questions, King? Feel free to ask. That I'm still... Lily, there are three people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lucem Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But, hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. Yeah, but that's, that's why I'm curious to see, like, how the open world stuff functions, you know? Because, like, I played the beginning. I was just saying that I kind of forgot that this is an open world game. So, uh... You know, I'm only going to be going for about an hour here, so I'll just pick a mission. I'd, I'd say let's do this one. That way, when you do the other one, you won't know what's going to happen. So, what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're going to be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. Into the project screen. You're able to purchase projects using project points you have earned. You projects. First project that you can purchase unlocks the vehicles menu. This will also reward you with your very own combat vehicle, the Phoenix. The vehicle menu gives you access to vehicle upgrades, allows you to call in a vehicle whenever you need one. Okay, well, we're gonna get our vehicle right away. I was wondering if we're gonna find it or something, but nope, here it is. Okay. Let's uh let's do it. The garage is online and the Phoenix is good to go. There are more projects here that would benefit the two of us. You need to beef yourself up, and I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. 
If you're lucky, your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal, because you sure need to get tough to take on the authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, I'm heading out. It's a big bad world out there, so be careful. And don't go messing people over. You're a ranger now. You better act like it. Oh, and John Marshall in Gun Barrel is your closest dagger. You might want to start there. And be careful. We need you. Okay. I'm just out here now. I can just do whatever I want. Well, hopefully the game looks good. Like I said, I, I also have been experimenting with my own stream settings, and I've been off Mixer for a long time. Um, welcome to the Wasteland. You can unlock missions and arcs. You can track down the map. Okay. Thank you, Catdoll, for the follow. Welcome, welcome to NTF Gaming. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I've been on Mixer for a while, you know, and I just feel like for doing variety streaming and doing my review games, because I am a writer for Rectify Gaming. Well, look at you. Ooh. Fresh Hold on, let me not I talk right now. I know I look good, but I drive better. Let's you and me go for a spin. Oh, I have my own AI, like Knight Rider? Oh, wow. Oh, this is looking great. Whoa, Cathal. Wow, 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 wow. Dude, thank you so much. Yo, I'm feeling welcome back here already. And the host, Jesbus. Feel very spoiled right now. Um, yeah, so I just I just figured I'd go back on Mixer and then really start streaming again. So hopefully the stream looks good. We Any feedback? Please let me know. Looks man-made. Think an ambush. Yep. You should see if you can clear that clog up. Oh boy. Actual enemies here? I can't tell. Standby mode initiated. Combat though. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is a hell of a beginning. Like I said, it's just strange for an open world game to have action that feels it as tight like Doom was, you know? But I can tell you, even on a controller on a console, this is feeling very sharp. Oh, we're leveling up some factions here. You've earned a project point. You can use these to purchase projects, which will benefit you in all aspects of the game. Okay. Robo Do that. Projects. I have unlocked the overdrive multiplier. Okay, let's do it. Grenade arc. That's pretty cool. Vehicle. 
Store more than just ARC vehicles in the vehicle's menu. Yeah, that seems like a lot of fun. Uh, grenade ARC would be useful. Box that was very quick. Are over. All clear. Yeah, the Coalition's gonna love that. Hidden. Oh, okay. Put mine down. Yeah, I'm excited to be on here with you guys. Thank you guys so much for the for watching. Like I said, I hope the stream looks great. Um, Systems activating. The enemy trying to kill him. Okay, so we had multi faction. Oh, what is that down there? Not only is the Phoenix great to drive, but it's deadly as well. Right bump swap weapons. He's Y and left stick to dodge attacks. Let's go to that convoy, guys. We gotta get involved, right? We gotta get in there. We gotta get hostile. Oh, I don't know what that thing is. Walker, listen. We're still gonna meet Mayor Lucas, right? I'm too hot. Get him, let's get him. Energy shields detected. Try alternative weapons. Warning. Enemy lock on detected. It's going to take something real special to penetrate those energy shields. 50% integrity. I don't know if I can take these guys on yet. Shields detected. Try alternative weapon. Weapon overheated. Ooh, they are doing some damage. It's going to take something real special to penetrate those energy shields. Weapon overheated. 30% integrity. Oh, we got him. I'm close to death, though. This is risky. I mean, the map seems massive. I mean, look how long I've been driving. And my mission is still almost... Yeah, look at 3,900 meters and 4,000 meters away from me. Let's get a little preview. Yeah, all that driving, and I'm only right here. And we have all this area to traverse. Definitely seems pretty big. Energy shields detected. Try alternative one. Lily, I'm in the swampies. Where do I find this Dr. Cross? Your guess is a Gotcha. Heading there now. Set integrity. Weapon overheated. I'm so close to death. I don't know if I'll be able to take this thing out. I gotta try. So, there's a big tower just standing here. It's got authority written all over it. Sounds like a sentry tower. Left over from the war. Usually oh boy. Anything that comes too close, so be careful if you're gonna go for it. Out there, shut eye. I'm checking into the clinic. Wait for me. Partial integrity restored. Systems regenerating. I'm back, 
Walker and feeling good. That's a pretty awesome way to have to repair the car. Oh, uh, what? Uh, uh, so, um, uh, uh, guys, we may have a problem here with my character model. I may. Oh, yeah, hold on. If I don't move, is it okay? Is it gone? Oh, no, I'm still here. That's. that's... <laughs> I can see my character, sentient beast, floating above the car. <laughs> what is going on? Help! This is, uh, this is a live review in progress of Rage 2. One big head out of ten. This is, uh, at least I can see my character model. Alright, let me see if I can fix that. Oh. Okay. Patrick Walker. Hey, look at this guy. Coming up on a hostile outpost. Here. You want to be ready for what you're getting yourself into here. Hogs can get real wild. But if you do attack, I'm thinking the trade coalition will be the mighty thankful you got from their outpost back. I wonder if I can take other vehicles. I'm really curious about that. Oh no! I cannot take the vehicles if I blow them up. Standby mode initiated. Unfortunate. Okay, so it looks like I wandered way off course. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone, for a uh, giant head. I, I'm just very distracted by that. Well, let's check out what this uh, outpost is. I mean, I'm just out in the open world, right? You know, we're just exploring. An enemy outpost? Bandit dens or strongholds filled with enemies. Oh, I thought this was like a friendly outpost. Like Mom would have said, Rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. that in a second in the middle of a fight right now got me damn oh man 
Well, I tried. So it does seem like there are level... It doesn't seem like you're getting normal experience per se. But... Oh, oh, hello. Way to spawn me in here. But there are there is a level range for this stronghold. And I imagine with some more upgrades and gadgets, this will probably be a lot easier. But let's try it one more time. So interesting, they never brought this up in the tutorial, but if you don't ADS, the pistol is a burst fire. But if you aim down sights, it's single shot, heavy hitting. That's really uh, interesting. I wonder if this rifle works the same way. Also, for anybody wondering, um, I am a reviewer for a website uh, called RectifiedGaming.com. That is where I post all my reviews of whatever the latest big AAA titles are. I've been at it for a few years now, so you can always go there and check it out if you want to read some of my reviews. Um, and I also put them on my YouTube channel, which is down below as well. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I like it. Grenade on my wink stick. Oh boy. I'm kind of ammo starved during this fight. They actually lose me? That's pretty interesting. Oh, that's a lot of cash. Can't wait to have like a double jump. I'm sure I'll get something of that sort. person left. Where are they? Whew. Uh, this is, uh, actually, this is the standard difficulty. Um, whenever I, whenever I go to, uh, first try a game out, I, I will start on whatever the game says is, is cleared out. quote unquote standard. Done um, I'll pass it on. The trade coalition will be grateful. Especially if it's a game that's going to be, you know, you're going to have RPG mechanics leveling up, you know, things of that nature. Cause I like to test out the balance of like right now I'm a level one character with almost no upgrades. And this was a level six outpost out of a potential, I think 10 levels. And even though I did die once, I was able to clear it. So it seems fair. You know, I don't really have RPG mechanics like armor or anything like that, but it was tough, but doable. Um, like I said, I'm sure if I had upgrades, this would have been much, much easier to take out. And I ride this boat. 
I'm guessing I get an upgrade that lets me ride boats or other vehicles. But I do not currently have the means. So let's just head out of here back to my car. But yes, this was an outpost. And you can see, six difficulty. I found the items of interest. So that, that is a pretty Far Cry-esque mechanic right there. I get the feeling I'm not supposed to be out in this area of the world yet. <laughs> I just get that get that sensation. So let's uh let's go here and uh see if we can get one story mission in and Systems see how those work. Activating. Vehicle sounds great though. Well, I just destroyed those guys. What is happening here? I have to check this out. Uh, well, later, guys. I was able to steal this. Turn vehicle to a trade town to keep it. Where it wants me to go. Let's do that. Oh, I missed that turn. That's why. Ah, there's a slime-ridden muty nest up ahead. Muties are always bad news. They fester and spread like a plague if you let them. You should clear that out. Driving so far was kind of the thing I was worried about. Um, I knew Avalanche. Roaming Trader. Roaming Trader offers a large variety of goods that you can buy from. Honk your horn to get Trader to pull over and open up shop. <laughs> The Gregarious, trader and traveler, merchant of fine merchandise? Pray tell, who may you be? I may be Walker. Are we really speaking like this? <laughs> well, of course. That is how we show our caliber. And that is why you want to trade with only me. My wares are quite... superb. Let me then... Scrutinize your vendables. Oh, with pleasure. I know I have seen tickle your fancy. Let's buy this thing right here. We can apparently sell things as well. I wasn't expecting to be able to sell things. Crafting recipes. Okay, all right, well. Get it. Hey, you mind? Wait, you can ride motorcycles? Whoa, that's really cool. Well, let's uh, take this bad boy. Oh, and you can shoot while you're on it. That's, oh wow, it doesn't handle great in the water. Okay, so there's a more variety to the vehicles than I thought there would be from pre-release coverage. I mean, maybe they showed this off, but I've been trying to keep my eye off the game. Kind of going fresh. Hey, what? This bike is very touchy. Yeah, I'm a, a Namtox Saint Deacon. That's my name. Hey, 
Hit Tech Engine doing work. Very seamless uh, loading, mega textures and whatnot. Runs great, man. Like I said, I'm playing on console. Uh, and I do have it on PC as well. But uh, if it's running great here, then I'd have to imagine the PC version is probably going to be fantastic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if there is a radio equivalent that'll open up. Oh wow, this is a huge town. Wellspring, finally. Let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lucen Hagar. Vehicle unlocked. Walker. Lost auto parts. Give a little garage. To upgrade our stuff. You. You're not That's some choice duds you got on there, bud. Looks like a. Wait. A real ranger? Yeah, you pass. Welcome to Wellspring. There's more to police in this place than just keeping roughnecks in check. Nobody gets in here looking like some wasteland slum scum. We got standards in Wellspring. Feel me? I feel you, man. Grandma, is that you? you got dirt in my eyes. You look like you just threw up on some grass. Oh, hey. Uh, it's good? another ranger. Yeah, <laughs> Say, you people, uh, you still uh, help others out like you used to? <laughs> you know, like back in the ranger heyday. I've heard all the stories. <laughs> See, my grandma used to be a ranger, but she's old. I worry about her. She lives out there by the racetrack alone, tinkering with her inventions and just being plain old strange. I keep telling her to move in with me, but nope, oh no, she won't have it. If you rangers uh, still uh, help, would you mind telling her to come live with me here in Will Spring? Another ranger? Maybe I could, if I'm headed that way. Thanks a bunch. I can't believe there are still rangers around that do that. Okay, we got a side quest. There are side quests. Interesting. Yeah, I need a St. John voice pack. Should have had the NBA Jam announcer for a cheat code. I'm sure they'll get there. Very talented. You'll find many types of traders who can buy and sell to individuals. Give you information about locations. Everything you can to avoid them. Those goon squad assholes are the worst. I know. Who's next up? Hey, I'll walk in. Whoop de dum. Another wasteland yokel lost in the big city. What can Sheriff Mako Kuru do for you? I'm a ranger, here to help. Anything going on, Sheriff? Muties. Goddamn muties, as usual. I sent a trigger team down the old tunnels to root him out. They've only managed to rope him in. They lack the killing power to finish him off. Something's got to be done, and soon. Or we'll have muties up top in no time. Planning on waiting in that shit like gun barrel. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I knew... I knew it was open world. You know, I knew that much about it. But in my mind, I kind of imagined... You know, Doom-esque arena-style levels. And the open world being more of a hub to get you between those encounters. It won't take long. But this is already more involved than I thought the open world hey, for them would be. Chris Ladon had a strong box to the east. One of just a handful of survivors. We were negotiating to join the trade coalition, and of course a goon squad came at us out of nowhere. Trampled all over our defenses. I'm sure they're still there now, tearing up the place. I lost my home and people in a similar way. How can I help? Mary Lusum says she can't do a goddamn thing about it. If you can. You can grab whatever's still left of value. You oh, got an arc. That anyone can open the damn thing. Just get rid of those goons. I want vengeance for my people. Yeah, this is a very detailed Intel traders. 
very fully realized, you know? Like, I, I think it's really rad that they built the world out like this. Don't tell me you wrap the same threads as me. Oh, hell no. You totally ripped off my goddamn old sauce. This ends now. I want you to drop those clothes and burn them right here. You hear me, bro? I will not. If any fucking one is gonna drop any fucking thing, it's you. You should fucking drop your pants and shoes and shit and piss on them in the street. You're not so bomb yourself. I hear you went through the low rent bin in Coolardi's looking for a cheap shimmy to put on your butt flap. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not one who came into Warney's and ordered gutter swill like some common blood glug Anything. In a no trim sweat, no less. You'll be wanting to shut it now. So you. You got them like the a fucking barrel. bizarre urge. Listen, you are getting on my nerves now. You really are. You're crossing the line you don't want to cross, buddy. That thing's not helping. That robot lady is yesterday's news. Oh my lord! Trapped. Damn it. Jesus. Well, now he's dropped. Maybe just. Yeah, no, we saw you do it, dude. Benedict Bum Fluff. Oh my God! Can we, can we help this this guy up? Hey, a new player. <laughs> Fancy looking duds. A winner if I ever saw one. Buy him, sell him. Well, we don't know yet. Do good trade means everyone walks away happy. Yo, it's my friend. Let's head inside. Stop right there, shit stain. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... You hear that? Cool attack. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we're headed toward a lot of enemy right now. Why not? Impressive. You think you can catch a bullet too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the dagger project. Whoa, 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 easy. I'm here about the dagger project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was razed to the ground. She's a holog... I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes. I like her gun. Ranger, let's take these fuckers out. Then we'll talk. What's the situation down there? Same. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. I need ammo bad. I gotta figure out a way to get... There we go. Walking into a fucking 
Ignition of barrel. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. Wanna tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the authority once... Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo. Get into Clegg. office and stick it on his computer. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you, are you familiar with nanotrite powers? I got a few tricks up my sleeve. I figured as much, and I figured you'd like some more. I happened to swoop up this message from a merc working for Clegg Clayton, name of Krom. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. There's a whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is these Asshole Shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. Okay. Well. That's how they feel. Well, that was a very interesting and, like I said, dynamic way to have the mission play out. Yeah, it feels, uh, so far it's really good impressions. Um, like I said, the shooting feels great. Like, Doom was a little awkward, I felt, to control on console. It felt a little swimmy. It definitely felt like you, uh, you really wanted that mouse and keyboard for precision. But, um, even at default settings here, it feels, it feels a lot better to just move and shoot, uh, on a controller. Like, right out the gate. And I'm sure when I actually go in and start fine-tuning the settings. Uh, also, real-time day-night cycle, by the way. Totally sidetracked by the graphics. Man, it looks fantastic. Uh, but it's a very good first impression. Uh, very uh, interested to see more of it. I'm going to do more of it. I just got to take care of some stuff. In real life. Not in the wasteland. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, Canthol, King, you guys are awesome. You welcome me back to Mixer. I feel welcome. Um, I'll be back later to play some more. And this channel is going to be a lot more active going forward. It was dormant for about three years. But uh, consider this my return. You guys are awesome. I'll see all of you next time. Thank you so much. And uh, have a good one, everyone. Peace out, y'all.